Hello everybody. There was an interesting discussion on uh, one of the Luxology forums whether it was possible to make a sphere with all hexagons or with all pentagons. I can say this uh, interested me and I looked this up and there is uh, something very interesting. It is not possible to make a sphere with all hexagons. There will always be 12 pentagons in there and I would like to show you this first. So I select a sphere, but a tessellation sphere and it doesn't matter what subdivision we have, there will always be 12 pentagons. And this is something I would like to show. So I go up to 9, bring out this uh, tessellation ball, go to edge mode, select all these edges, go to assign selection set, call it SS1, OK. Go to polygon mode, press the D key once, go back to edge mode, use our selection set and backspace delete. And if I go to polygon mode now, you see we have more than a thousand polygons and amongst these thousand are 12 pentagons and I would like to show you this. So if I select the statistics polygon by vertex, bigger than four, of course, this will select all because all are bigger than four, but I am interested in this command here. Then I can deselect this and change the four to a five. Now it will only select the hexagons I can delete them and if I select everything now you see we have 12 polygons left and they are all pentagons. And the easiest way to make an all pentagon sphere or ball would be if we could go to action center local, press the R key and then just resize these up to and you see it doesn't work but it gives us an idea how the polygons have to look the point here must point down the flat part must be on top and then we have these 12 uh, pentagons which finally will form a sphere so let me delete this and let's do it another way. I select this again with a subdivision level of one. Then control left, drag it out, make it 100 by 100 and then in front view, drop the tool, I select this, no, first I select these edges here and backspace delete them. Then I select this polygon, inverse the selection and delete. Now, when you remember the flat side has to be up so we must rotate this and I do action center selection E key and control rotate this 180 degrees you see it on this pinkish half circle when you reached the 180 keeping the control key uh, make sure that we rotate in 15 degree steps. Okay, now I can go to top view and go to duplicate radio array, no, 
we need instance radio array because we must adjust this polygon here. So count of five around the Y action center is origin and click in the viewport. And now I can, uh, I have Windows 8 as you can see and I'm quite happy with it. Much happier than I thought I would be after reading all these bad uh, articles. W key and bring this to about here. Now I can delete what happened here. All these and now I can do a real radial array 5 and around Y and action center origin again and click in the viewport and now we can go to vertex merge automatic will not work but fixed ok 10 have merged that's good now I can put the, the P key and put it in here. Now let's see, this is the upper half consisting of six pentagons. I select it, control copy, control V and E key and rotate it around the set by 180 degrees. Then front view again, W key, and move this to about here. Now we can go to vertex, merge again, fixed, another 10 have merged, good. Now I go to edge mode, select all these edges and put them in a selection set. Can use the same one, okay. And depending on what you are planning to do, you can now shift D this and it will keep the shape, control Z. Or I want to make a ball, so I just use the D key once, twice, three times like this. This is a nice round ball that now we can go and use the selection set, OK, then B for bevel, bevel this out a bit and unfortunately there is a bug in Modo 701 so if I press Alt and click on convert here it will select everything, so Control Z, but what I can do is click Alt convert to vertices first and then convert to polygons and this works. So I give this a material, call it seams and, and uh, make it a little bit darker. Okay and then B for bevel and bevel this in a bit like so and now here it is it is a ball perfect sphere with all pentagons and this is the only way you can make a ball with only pentagons otherwise it will always be a combination of hexagons and pentagons so that's it for today. I hope you found this as interesting as I did and I wish you all the very best. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye bye.